jumping off the high dive isn't for everyone. Looking down from a height of three meters, about 10 feet off the water, while standing on a bouncy sheet of metal can be very frightening. But veteran diver Amanda Burke has overcome these fears. It reminds you of why you dive, even though sometimes it makes you want to stop. I have a, a dive that I'm working on now that I am absolutely terrified of, and you know, I have to visualize it. I have to push myself and say, you know what, it's not the end of the world. There are worse things that could happen to people, and I'm scared about this stupid dive. Amanda spends most of her time right here at McCoy Auditorium on Penn State's campus. She has the goal of competing in the 2016 Olympics in Rio. She's been training since her graduation from Ryder University in 2010 and has competed in events at the international level. Amanda's hard work has recently earned her and her synchro partner a bronze medal at the Pan American Sports Festival in Mexico. But Penn State diver Kelly Kusevich knows how hard Amanda is training to go for gold in the Olympics. There's no, nothing that says that she has to be here and she's always here, she's always working, she's always watching what she's eating, she's always working hard. If she didn't throw a good, like a good dive, she's going to go back and do two more until she throws it the right way. With the Rio Games less than two years away, Amanda has already qualified for the Olympic trials, but is working with a team to stay ready. I'm um, doing everything, with the work with nutritionists, sports psychologists, um, working with the um, the athletic trainer and everything like that, trying to make sure everything's in line so I'm healthy, um, uninjured, and I'm at my ultimate peak of potential when I'm at tw uh, 2016. While the sport itself may get repetitive, winning is always a new feeling for Amanda, who knows that this is her time to dive right in. Reporting in University Park, I'm Zach Slater for the Center County Report.